people would kick you in the face or step on you or pour stuff on you and everything, try to set you on fire. Um, a lot of times they didn't have, have uh, money and everything so I ate out of garbage cans and stuff like that. I turned my back on God. Um, I just, I settled to the fact that I was an alcoholic and a drug addict and that's all I would ever be. Homeless people are uh, just like anybody else. It's been, been knocked down one too many times and have ceased to try to get up. And uh, there's a lot of defeat out here, a lot of uh, discouragement, a lot of uh, despair. But they're really, they're, they're like diamonds in the rough. And uh, our job is to mine it out, and that's what we're doing. And that's why, because it's, it's valuable. Uh, the Lord just called me and spoke to me and said, I want you to quit your church here, uh, leave, resign this church, and, uh, and go start the homeless church. That was the call. I talked to Pastor Evan, and the first thing I said was, I would really like to come and talk and share my heart with the church and just be able to share my heart and what God's going to be doing in the Dominican Republic. I said, well, look, uh, LaDawn, I would love to, but uh, we don't have any money. She said, well, I want to come anyway. And he was like, well, I know you're a missionary. Are you sure you want to come? Because the homeless, this is a real homeless church. It's a literal translation. And I was like, well, I know, but I would love to come and just share my heart. It was wonderful what happened when she arrived. It was a move of God that has uh, affected our church ever since. Um, I say we have among us a missionary, young missionary in training, going to Dominican Republic, and her name is LaDawn, and she wants to, to talk to you. My wife thought maybe you guys could uh, bring in some cans, and we'll turn them in and send her some, some recycling money. A couple people went up and gave an offering, and at that moment, both the pastor started crying and I started crying. And after they received the offering, he gave a challenge to everybody to start that they as a church could actually support me monthly by collecting cans. I started crying just knowing that they were giving their everything and challenged me to give my everything and what God's called me to do. I, I think it's great that we're giving money to the missionary because a lot of us already have what we need, like like I say, each day God makes sure I'm fed. I woke up this morning broke, I still am. I might have two or three pennies in my pocket. And here I am eating. Oh, it's good that, you know, that we're, that, that we're able to give money to the missionaries so they can reach people who don't have what we have. I live on the streets of San Francisco and, and you know, all the money I got, I, I share with the missions and, and people on the street. Because what we got, it ain't gonna do us no good on the street. We ain't got nowhere to go. We ain't got nowhere to spend it for ourselves. We believe in uh, giving away to missions and, uh, and helping spread the word, helping spread the gospel through the mission work. And the Lord has kept us blessed all along, so uh, we have no worries in the Lord. If there's a lesson here for the American church about this missions giving and how it's affected this little church, for one thing, that is God loves missions. And if we start giving to missions, God's going to bless and the Spirit of the Lord has been so thick upon this little church out there um, uh, on the street in His presence. So something has broken and it's very, very different now. Mm -hmm.